So you're gonna start seeing bubbles rise from the test piece. For those of you who watched the first video on doing this Tonto, thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna be finishing this in the next video that I post, maybe finishing it, at least getting a lot of the handle parts fit up. But for now, I wanted to answer a bunch of questions that I've gotten about how do you blacken titanium. I've been making these folders. These are the Astra folder that I've been making, and I've been blackening the handle scales because I think it looks really, really cool. And I learned that you could do that from a guy in France. His name's David Lespect. And he turned me onto this chemical. It is a fertilizer. And uh, you can mix it in distilled water and electro anodize your titanium black. It's a very nice black too. It's not kind of gray, it's black. It's very black. So to do this, you're gonna need to get a few things. Obviously, you're gonna to need to get this manganese sulfate and you're gonna need distilled water. Distilled water only. Uh, other stuff has impurities in it and it enters other factors into your process that you can't control. You're also gonna need some sort of container. I use a Tupperware container. It's very simple, it's easy to use. You're also gonna need a DC power supply uh, regulator so you can adjust the voltage as you need for different colors. So. You can do all kinds of different colors with this chemical, TSP. You can do it with the man manganese sulfate as well, but this really gets reliable results as far as electro anodizing for purple and blue and vibrant colors, very interesting colors. But for the black, you need the manganese sulfate. So I have two containers, one for the TSP and one for the manganese sulfate, depending on what I want to do. So to do this, you want to get your manganese sulfate, and I really don't measure any of this. Maybe you should, so you get reliable results, but I just kind of coat the bottom of my container. Distilled water, fill her up, and you should start to see it dissolve very, very quickly. We'll go ahead and stir this up a little bit. Um, the little beads in this particular form, there are a bunch of little beads, fertilizer beads, and uh, they'll dissolve, they'll continue to dissolve as you go. This is what it looks like right now. Um, you can see it's dissolving in there. And if you stir it up, it gets real cloudy. So another couple things you're gonna need are some pieces of titanium, obviously the piece that you want to anodize, and you need a piece that's going to go on your negative lead because you want a submerged titanium piece on one side on the negative lead and then you want your piece connected to the positive lead on the DC power pack. I've got this crusty nasty piece of titanium that I've been using. Um, it gets this way when you use it a lot and so you got to go through and clean it up every now and then. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sandblast all these pieces. These are just test pieces um, but definitely want to make sure this is clean. So here's what these pieces look like after sandblasting. So here's the piece that I'm using for the negative lead on my power pack, and these are my two sample pieces. Nice and clean. All right, so you've got your negative lead coming out here. This is black, and I've got a hole drilled specifically for this banana clip that will sit over here. You could clamp it so that it doesn't fall in. This solution is pretty hard on these connectors. So you'll probably have to change out connectors every now and then. Then on the positive side, I've got an alligator clip. You can see where the solution is kind of eaten away, this banana clip. It still works, but it's pretty messed up. So on the positive lead, I've got this piece of titanium with a hook on the end. And that's what I hook up to the positive side and I can submerge things. It's also got a hole in it with uh, tapped 256 threads. That's what I use for my screws. 
and uh, I can submerge it in there. Or you can just drop your piece in there and then turn your power pack on and touch it with this and it will anodize your piece. All right, so now that we have this set up, we've got the negative lead over here. We've got our positive lead ready. Sorry, I had to move over here because my light died and I don't know where the cord is, so probably better over here anyway. All right, so we've got negative lead set up. Now we just need to submerge our test piece. So here's our test piece. And one way you can do this is submerge it and then touch it with this. So I'm gonna try that first. I've got the power pack set on 45.9 volts. So somewhere around there is gonna be what you want for this. All right, here we go. So you're gonna start seeing bubbles rise from the test piece. You're also gonna see it rise from the electro, the negative side as, as well. Now this is gonna take five minutes. I'm gonna start a five minute timer. Okay, it's been a little bit over five minutes and we're black. About seven minutes, maybe a little bit more because I didn't start my timer right when it started. So now you wanna dry it off as quickly as possible. So we're gonna use paper towels. Now I'm gonna use some oil because I like the way oil looks on it. So I've got a bit of an oily rag here. Kind of protects the finish a little bit too. I don't want it really wet with oil but I think it looks nice. All right, there is the before and after. Pretty impressive. Um, it's a really, really nice black color. So, and very easy to do. Now you can see that's gotten really, really nasty already. And that's just gonna keep doing that until you take it out of there and clean it off. So that is how you do a very simple black finish on titanium. So if you like this content, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you like the video. And if you wanna learn more about knife making from me, then go down in the description below and follow me on Patreon. It's $5 a month and there's over 60 videos exclusive to that about knife making, exclusive to Patreon. So I would love to have you there. I'll see you in the next video.